An emotional tribute tonight for a young animal control officer hit and killed by a drunk driver. We're glad you're with us tonight at 11. Off the top, it's been three weeks since Darian Young's work truck was broadsided by that drunk driver while crossing M50 in Monroe Township. Since then, there has been an outpouring of support for her family, especially from the law enforcement community. Jason Colthorpe is live tonight. Jason, she was very dedicated to her job. And it all began, Kimberly, with a love of animals from her, but it went so far beyond that. She had a passion for it, and she carried that into her job with animal control that she'd only been doing a year, but was already getting tremendous results. She was great with horses, which is why she was part of the Sheriff's Office Mounted Division, and it was that dedication that drew hundreds of people downriver tonight to honor her. Darian Young's dreams had come true, and she was just 24. She grew up in Monroe with a love of animals, especially horses, and landed her dream job last year with Monroe County Animal Control. If she wasn't helping dogs, she was helping her horses. We figured she's rehomed over 100 horses. Darian was an equestrian star through high school and finished fifth in a competition just a few weeks ago. Her fiance, Zach, shared that love of horses. Her and her fiance just bought a horse farm and they were planning on having their wedding up in their barn. And I mean, they were there two weeks. Best thing ever that could happen to Zach. It's just a, it's a love story like no other. I mean, it's like a movie. But her dreams ended the morning of June 4th when a drunk driver ran a red light and smashed into her county vehicle. She died two days later and was laid to rest on the 13th with a horse-drawn carriage there to honor her. And what's happened, like Aaron says, a blur, I don't even believe it yet. I just, she was my daughter-in-law, even though they weren't married. I talked to her every day. I talked to her two, three times a day. It's, it's been really hard. Tonight, hundreds from Downriver Jeep Clubs came together to form a convoy to again honor Darian, organized by people that didn't even know her, but came to know what she meant to their community. What's going on here is amazing. <laughs> I never imagined it. They just bought a horse farm. It just it really breaks your heart when you when you hear about it. By the way, uh, Jeeps, because uh, Darian's family has a lot of Jeeps, love Jeeps. The Jeep community down there heard about it, wanted to do something, and they raised about five thousand dollars tonight. It's going to the Darian Young Memorial Fund, which is going back to animal control to care for animals. Reporting live tonight, Jason Coulter, local.